is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. Apparently, there's a group of people out there who are not very pleased with my Pokemon Sword playthrough, alright? Um, they're saying that it's unwatchable, it's cringeworthy, because I'm not playing the game right. That's right, folks. I'm not playing Pokemon right. How can he play Pokemon like this? Doesn't he understand that for longtime fans of Pokemon, playing it like this is unwatchable. It makes us die inside. We want to gouge our eyes out. We want to freak out because he's not playing the game right. Phil doesn't have enough knowledge of Pokemon in general, and therefore he doesn't understand the match types. He doesn't understand the Pokemon types. He's not matching the right Pokemon against the right Pokemon all the time, and it's incredibly frustrating. That's number one that I've heard, okay? Number two. Oh, he doesn't know the difference between Pokemon that specialize in a special attack and Pokemon that specialize in a physical attack and Pokemon that are hybrids, and he's not getting the right abilities on the right Pokemon, so he's got a party of unoptimized Pokemon, and it's frustrating to watch as someone who knows Pokemon. It's like a comedy of errors, and I can't stand watching it because he just doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Okay? Number three. Oh, Phil really, because he doesn't know what he's doing, is he's healing in battles the wrong way. There was a battle where he kept healing for like five minutes instead of trading out his Pokemon. And we don't understand why he's not using all his knowledge to his advantage, because it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing. He's played Pokemon before, and he should understand how to steamroll the game. Okay? Alright. So these are the common arguments that I'm hearing against my Pokemon playthrough. Alright? Here's what I can say. I'll respond to this in a few different ways. I'm going to try to be as constructive and positive as possible. Fuck you! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Then I got a dollar tip from a troll, basically saying, Oh, I'm going to make a compilation of you insulting people and swearing over the years, and I'm going to submit that to YouTube for their anti-bullying campaign. <laughs> okay, then. Thanks for the dollar tip. Then we got someone named, Con Contributions are not mandatory if you tip me a dollar, and said, 70-year average lifespan for human beings tip me. What does that mean? I'm completely... I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. What? PW Dubs tipped me a dollar and says the following. Uh, Phil, quick question. As a full-time streamer, you don't you do not do a lot of movement, but you still look fit. How do you maintain physical prowess? First of all, I'm not fit. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that was way too much. You erupted on me. What I am is not overweight. Um, I don't eat a ton of food. And... What I do eat at this point, I try to make healthier. I'm not always able to do that. But for example, when Kat makes meals for us, <clears throat> we try to eat low fat, you know, decent calorie, healthy meals. Um, not like I used to. I used to eat much un more unhealthy. I used to not really care about what I was eating and put into my body. And now I've kind of changed that attitude a lot because I am, re I am getting older. And the last thing I want to do, because I do have what's called a sedentary lifestyle. This is a lifestyle where basically you sit around all day. And a lot of people have this problem, people who work in office buildings and you just sit at a desk all day, someone like me who just sits here and streams all day. There's not much I could do about it, okay? I'm going to be doing this no matter what all day long. Um, so that's what I would say is really, for me, it's been adjusting my lifestyle. I don't drink soda. Remember I was drinking soda every day? I don't drink soda at all at all anymore. Only maybe every once in a while I'll have a soda if I'm out or something on my day off, but not, I don't drink it every day. Um, I'm not eating heavily as much as I used to. Uh, what I do eat. I eat less of, and I eat healthier portions and healthier food in general, you know? <clears throat> Instead of having uh, something that's greasy or fried, you know, I'll have something that's baked. See? It's different. And by the way, there's many healthy alternatives to things like that, right? Um, so that's basically what I would say. Uh, there's not much else to it. Um, I don't know if you're actually even being serious or not, because obviously you're joking about me uh, saying I have physical prowess. I don't, all right? Obviously, I don't work out or anything anymore. I don't have big muscles or anything. Um, but I'm also not fat per se. I'm not morbidly obese. They're morbidly obese. People who are very overweight, who are unhealthy, who can't get around, and they need to make a change. And maybe they've tried diet changes, maybe they've tried to work exercise, and they just either can't get it to work or can't discipline themselves to the point where they can make it be effective. I'm not overweight. 
I mean, all right, let me put that back. I am overweight, but I'm not grossly morbidly obese. Okay, I'm actually, in, in reality, I've lost a lot of weight over the last few years. <clears throat> and I'm actually at a better weight now than I've been in quite some time, which is a great thing. Because it makes me lighter, it makes me easier. You know, my back pain is all but gone. I almost never have back pain anymore because I lost so much of that excess weight that was causing it that really it's not a, a problem anymore. <clears throat> so that's a good thing, right? Um, so there you have it. I used to have a really bad back injury. It was a her severely herniated disc in my lower back to the point where I had numbness and pain and all kinds of stuff. I could barely move around for a, a year there. During my time when I was on YouTube doing stuff, I could, could barely even move because I was so messed up. And so when I moved out here to Seattle, I don't know what it was. It could have been my lifestyle changes. It could have just been going to a new area. I don't know, but I said, man, I don't know. The air out here is clean or whatever. I don't know what it is, but my back's better. Oh, the Seattle air healed his back. <laughs> Hardcore Gabe Horn cheers says, have you seen any of my videos? No, I have no no idea who you are. I don't know if this is like someone attempting me to reference something negative. I have no idea, nor do I care, but I'll say thank you for the cheer. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, PW dubs to me a dollar and one cent. That actually, <laughs> that makes him the top tipper of the day. All right. And he says, another question. Do you ever feel like you're in a fishbowl and everyone's watching you while streaming? No, I don't feel like that at all. I don't. Um, some people say that they get this like anxiety feeling when people are watching them do stuff on a stream. And some people ask me, Phil, how is it that you do this day in, day out? You know, isn't it weird that, you know, you have an audience when you're talking and everything? Not really. Um, I never really had that problem. When I was younger, I would say, when I, when I was in, in elementary school, grammar school, whatever you want to call it, grade school, whatever you call it, because it has like a million names, I actually was chosen to be in certain, like, public speaking events. And back then, of course, when I was a young kid, it made me incredibly nervous. All right? Let me put it this way, all right? I've already had the worst possible scenario happen. In mid 2016, I accidentally streamed myself masturbating. Here's what happened. I had a speech that I was going to give, and I believe it was for about Franklin Delano Roosevelt, all right, when I was in, in grade school. When I was, I was one of five kids who was giving a speech. Well, guess what? As I'm sitting there, and I practiced this speech for weeks. I practiced it with my mom reciting it word for word memorizing it but then learning how to say it with inflection so it didn't just sound like i was saying it <clears throat> for the sake of saying it but instead it was me actually like meaning it telling the story of franklin delano roosevelt one of the, the presidents of the united states okay <clears throat> well as i'm sitting there they, they chose me i think i was either next to last or last i was i definitely wasn't at the beginning i was either next to last or last all right so as we're sitting there to do it all of a sudden i have to pee all right and I'm not talking, oh, a little bit of an inkling to pee. I had to piss like a racehorse. Like a gallon of piss had somehow accumulated. More than likely because I was so nervous. It accumulated, you know, in my groin. And I was like, oh, my God. I held in that piss for an hour. All right? An hour. I had to piss so bad. And I held it in. And while I had to piss, I was in pain. I had to piss so bad. I walked up to that podium and I gave my speech. All right? And when the speech was over and everything, everyone was like, wow, you did great. I was like, that's great. I'll see you in a minute. And I ran off and pissed. And I came back and everyone was like, what happened? I was like, I had to use the bathroom so bad. And they're like, really? Like, we couldn't tell. <laughs> okay. So, basically, after that, like, being in front of people talking, there's no other time I could be more possibly uncomfortable than the time when I had to piss so fucking bad and I held it in for an hour and still gave a perfect speech. Okay. <clears throat> so, that being said... <laughs> If I farted live on stream or I belched, you know, all the things that I've done, you know, disgusting stuff, um, to me it's no big deal. Oh no, I make a mistake on stream or whatever. My incident years ago, I don't give a fuck. It's so stupid, right? Like all that stuff is so dumb and I don't care about it. I just come to stream every day and I have fun with you guys. Um, that's all it's all, it's all about. Um, I don't care about being proper. I don't care about doing the right thing. I'm a real human, you know, what is it? I think it's called, um. 
soci being a sociopath, right? And yeah, sometimes real humans can be fucking gross. But you know what? That's life, right? You, you watch my streams, you get the real me, and you have a good time. And I hope that you guys like that. Or else why would you even be here, right? <clears throat> so, you know, no, you're, are you, you feel like you're in a fishbowl and everyone's watching you and you're nervous and all that. No, that doesn't happen to me. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm actually relaxed here when I'm on stream. I would say the only days when I do get a little nervous is when I'm playing, like, an incredibly difficult game or a game that's, like, way outside of my comfort zone. Because I do get nervous that I'm going to get frustrated at the game or I'm not going to like the game or I'm going to get stuck. And now that's not entertaining to an audience to see me stuck on a certain part of a game for an insane amount of time, right? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> those are maybe some of the days when I get a little nervous that maybe my stream won't be as good for you guys. But in general, no, I don't feel any pressure. I don't really get nervous about that stuff. I, I just come and I have fun. So, I don't want to lose my house. Help! Why the hell is everyone giving shout out to a detractor? Not a detractor of mine, but a detractor of wings. Why are you all doing this? Would you all like to get banned? <laughs> Why are you guys doing this in my fucking stream? If you want to do that, go do that in Wing stream. Don't fucking spam my stream with stuff about them. You know, like, what? that's stupid. You guys know better. Come on. Stop that right now. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Um, I'm a mature adult with a business degree, and I'm not a children's entertainer. A Platinum Diaper Gaming. Cheers, did you feel intimidated by how intelligent and successful your stream audience is and their compassion compels them to support you? Uh, I don't feel intimidated at all. What is this? Alright. So does anyone know if this is something negative? I'm going to say it out loud. I can't figure it out. Someone named C. Adder Air. Oh, Seattle Air. Is that what it's supposed to be? Seattle Air. That stupid old meme. Okay, I got it. Seattle Air. To me, a dollar five cents. It says, can you smell what the Seattle Air is cooking? All right, there you go. The Seattle Air. That's not a bad... I mean, that's not a, that's not a negative meme. It's silly. Dark Kitty to me a dollar says, a major detractor meme now is that you ask fans to report channels that make fun of you. Didn't do that at all. Actually, what I said was, I'm not going to have any part of it whatsoever. I can't control what people do. And I know for a fact that people have told me over the years they're very angry with people that said they've done towards me. And, you know, now YouTube apparently takes reports seriously. So I wouldn't be surprised to hear that people are reporting channel. But I will have no part of it. That's what I said. Oh, well. How come I only have lag when I'm losing? It's not true at all. I complain about lag all the time, even when I'm winning. And then people say, he won, but he's still complaining. Yeah, because the game still sucks. It's still laggy as shit. It's not fun. Why don't you get a real job? Well, because a real job pays less than what I make, dummy. That's why. This is a real job. In fact, this is one of the most fucking real jobs there is. Because it's a ton of work, and it's a ton of micromanagement, and it's a ton of stress. This is a, definitely a real fucking job that I've done since 2011. Don't tell me something that I've done for a living for almost 10 years is not a real job. That's just ignorance. You are stupid. Philip indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. 